Hey, last week we explored the important factors that went into the California Association of Realtors 2017 housing market forecast. So this week, let's take a look at what demographics are at play in the housing market. First, 64% of the baby boomers say they don't plan to sell their home when they retire, yet 92% have equity in their home. So this makes a huge difference in the inventory level as they contribute inventory when they sell and buy. So why are they not moving? 44% say that the 1 million plus in equity isn't enough to retire in style. 13% say they plan to be buried in the backyard and leave their home to their kids. How would you like to move into that? 2% say they wanna see all of their children living under the same roof again. And 41% say all the above. Maybe if they knew about Prop 60 and 90, they'd take the plunge. So let's check in with the millennials now. Number one, when asked how important is the American dream, 90% of the millennials say it's moderately to very important to them. Number two, when asked what part of the American dream is most important to them, 18% said owning a home is critical. 18% cited a fulfilling job, 16% thought a family is most important, and 14% put education as the number one and so on. Number three, when asked if they thought buying a home was a good investment, guess what? 82% agreed. Number four, when asked if they knew they could qualify for a mortgage with a lower down payment, would they purchase a home? 69% say they would start looking today. Only 19% knew about the FHA program, meaning 81% are unaware that they can put down as little as 3.5%, and even less if they use DPAs. The last demographic I found compelling was renters. Nearly half of the renters plan to purchase a home within the next five years. 55% of them have already made preparations to buy a home by either speaking to a realtor, searching for a home, or getting approval by a mortgage lender. These demographics are positioned to really impact the market in 17. Baby boomers are staying put, which can keep the inventory low. Millennials are gonna jump as they learn about their options and renters are tired of paying higher and higher rents. Next week, we'll take a look at the opportunities the 2017 housing market is gonna offer those that choose to get into the game. Now, for minding your own business. Hey, last week we talked about the power of the pen, but now let's take a step further. A cool giveaway should be something that won't get thrown in a drawer and never used, like a goofy stress ball. And it should be something current, useful, and well, really cool, like a wind-up sushi toy. So here's another idea that fits those three categories, usable and reusable grocery bags or totes. As more and more communities ban the old plastic bag and make you pay for them, Folks are getting a little fed up and used to taking their own to pack their purchases. There are several companies that will put custom logo on bags you can give away. And it's not as expensive as you think. They're as low as 40 cents each, up to a buck 30, depending on the quality and quantity that you order. And don't be stingy with them. After all, they're giveaways. So hand them out freely and boldly. Take a few extra when you go to the grocery store, and if someone ahead of you in line forgot their bag, offer them one of yours, and you just made a new friend. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week, and have a great day.